Hey, what's up my broke budget guys, gals, and ninjas. Today we're gonna be talking about when you should use your rainy day fund. So something happened to us last night uh, that was unexpected and it got me thinking like, I should really talk about when to use your emergency fund because this was a moment where it was like, yep, we have to use the emergency fund. But we also had another moment a few weeks ago that we were like, mm, no, we shouldn't use the emergency fund. And so I wanted to talk about how we determined that for both situations and then explain how you can determine what your situation is and figure out if it's uh, emergency fund worthy or if you should just wait and save up the money. So there's a couple of basic questions we wanna ask. We wanna ask, was it an unexpected expense? It wasn't something that you knew was eventually gonna happen. So things like taxes eventually happen and you know they're gonna happen. Things like, oh, I'm gonna need to get an oil change. That's gonna happen and you know that's gonna happen so you need to prepare for that in the future. So things like that don't qualify for an emergency fund. But if it's something that's unexpected, didn't see it coming, whether or not it's a job loss or it's something along the lines of what happened to us last night, which was a pipe bursting in our house. So situations like that is what your emergency fund would call for because it's unexpected. The other qualifying factor that you wanna look at, is it something that I can wait on? Like, is this an actual emergency that needs to get fixed right away? The pipe bursting qualified as an actual emergency because it is something we have to fix right away because the longer we leave it, the more damage it's gonna cause, which means the more money that's gonna have to go out. As well as the fact that it just makes life pretty unlivable when you can't have running water and you have to have your water shut off. But the other thing we had happen a few weeks ago was a situation where my husband went in to get his hearing tested, he needs to have a hearing aid, and they offered him options to buy a new hearing aid. And it was a situation where it was like, well, is it an emergency? And we really struggled with trying to figure out if that one was an emergency or not, and here's the reason why. It was unexpected. We didn't expect that to happen. I honestly didn't even expect him to go to the doctor. I've been telling him to go and get his hearing checked for a while, and he finally did it. Second of all, he has a hearing aid and it works. Um, it wasn't expected for him to all of a sudden want to buy a new one, but it wasn't really qualifying as an emergency because he didn't need it right that minute. It was something that it's like he still has a workable one why would we buy a new one, even though it is a better quality one, why would we buy a new one if you can still use your old one? And that's where we qualified it as not an emergency because it was a situation where it's like, we don't need it immediately. We want it immediately, but we don't need it immediately. And so it was a situation where it's like, okay, well we can wait and we can save up the money for this instead. The third thing that you wanna look at, which kind of goes along with the second one, is if it's needed for your basic living. So that means keeping a roof over your head, that means keeping your utilities on, that means eating, that also means something medical, if it's something like you have to go to the doctor for whatever reason, whether you're sick or something to that extent, there's always something that comes up. And those are situations that you obviously would use your emergency fund for if you don't have other savings set aside for it. So if it's something unexpected, if it's something that needs to be taken care of right away, and then if it is something that you need to live your life. And then the fourth thing that we look at is whether or not our emergency fund can actually cover the cost of what we're looking at doing. Because if it doesn't cover it, then all we're doing is we're going into more debt. Now there is situations where you can break this rule. This would be a situation where it was something medical because that is really my only guideline for that one is like as long as it's something medical, it's okay to break it. I mean, you don't want to break it, but if you have to break it, then it makes sense because it's something that's urgent in order to keep you healthy and alive. That makes sense. The overall factor of what you're looking at is, is this a need or is this a want? You only wanna spend your emergency fund on needs, you don't wanna spend it on wants. And how I figure this out is based on those different questions that we already went over. But sometimes it's both a need and a want. Like the situation with my husband's hearing aid, it is a need for him, he does need it medically, but it is also a want. And the reason why it's both is because 
Medically speaking, he does need a hearing aid, but speaking in terms of right now, he has a working hearing aid. So that tells me that now this has become a want, not a need. And this will eventually be a need because his hearing aid will bite the dust at some point. But right this minute, it is a want, not a need. So if we plan for him to have a hearing aid in the future, what we can do is we can save up that money and when it's time to actually transfer over to a new hearing aid, we have the money to do so without using the emergency fund and this will be money that we'll set aside in a different account from the emergency fund just so that we know this is for stuff for this. The same thing goes with the, like it was said, the car like repairs that you know are coming such as the oil changes and the tire rotations and things like that. And at some point, you know, you need to buy new tires because they get worn down. Um, but that's the kind of stuff you put in a separate fund away from your emergency fund. So those are the qualifying factors that we use to figure out if it's actually an emergency where we could qualify and using our emergency fund. We don't want to use our emergency fund because we know if we use it, that means we have to refund it and we have to pause paying off debt. This is not a fund for you to pay off debt. This is not a fund for something specific that you want. This is not something that is for your wants. So there you go. That's how you use your rainy day fund or emergency fund to fund emergencies and not wants. And I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and then I will see you in the next video.